I should be getting more done on this thing, but um, every time I turn around this week, it's suspension to do. So, wow. so we've stripped out three sets of uppers, two sets of lowers. Um, actually, three sets of lowers because I had to source a set of pins from somewhere. Um, rebuilt one full set with bushes and ball joints. One set of stripped CM ones out. These ones have been blasted and they're to be painted and rebuilt or vice versa. So yeah, it's been a bit of a suspenseful week. Ha! I'm too funny. <laughs> Right, as you can see, the target on the old pub truck's a bit rough. So, um, might whip him off and see what we can do with that. That's got a section in here. Come off another one. Half of another tailgate that um, we should be able to use. We'll see how we go. We'll give it a run anyway. Okay, knock the tailgate off. See, there's a couple of spots that are going to need repairs, but we do have another old frame around here somewhere, so it's all good. So I just run the flap disc over the edge to um, highlight the spot welds. As you can see, they become very apparent when you clean the surface up. Wasn't a great deal of them, which is not a bad thing. Knock them out and see if we can cut this skin off. This is what we're looking at. Get him open up, see what he looks like. Knock that bit off. Okay, I've opened him up. Taking the bottom edge off. You may ask why I didn't just go across in a straight line. Well, our repair section's got a little soft spot there, so I tried to save as much good steel as I could. Um, not great, but I'll have a look at what other frames I've got around here, we'll have to make it work. Anyway, I've opened it up, I haven't tipped it up yet, so this should be good, we'll see what comes out of it. Alright, so it's going to come out of this gate and have a little bit of rattling around in it when I, uh, when I was moving it about. So she had quite a stash in there. Ah, <laughs> uh, you gotta love it. So just looking at this, you can see um, that tailgate frame is pretty rough. I'll just slow down and have a look. Yeah, needs a bit of work. But anyway, so I found this one. This is the one that um, Matt pulled the skin off and cut the section out of and that sort of thing. And I was going to um, rip a section out of it. But I don't know that I'm gonna be that much better off. Um, the only other one I've got Oh, I've got another frame, but it's just oh, it's rustier than this one. Um, the only other one besides that is a pretty good tailgate, so I don't sort of want to cut it up. So, what I'm thinking is maybe fold up some new stuff. We'll, we'll um, yeah, take that uh, that bottom section off, right back up to here somewhere, back up into there, and um, fold up like a Z section for that. 
and then another one for this uh, bottom corner brace and just replace the lot. And, um, and then just refab the corners. Should be easy enough. So, um, yeah, yeah, we'll have to have a crack at it. Dodgy. Uh, just swapped out a door hinge on this thing before the driver's door goes on. Um, the old one, as you can see. Uh, you can't. Oh, yeah, like that. Uh, now at least the door will stay open. That one, the spring and everything's gone out of it. This one's still intact. I pulled it off one of the wrecks out of the yard. So, easy done. At least now the door will stay open. Good stuff. Okay, got that door hinge on. The girl's finally got a door on her again. Uh, she's got a complete cabin, and even got a wind up driver's window for the first time since it's been in. Beautiful. We'll have to um, try and get a bit of that dent out. That'll be the plan. You can see, had a bit of a crack with suction cups, but that didn't do too good. So we'll see what we can do from the inside and uh, put a bit of weight on it, and maybe straighten it out a bit. See how we go. I'll carry on. Just going to bleed the brakes off on this thing too, and um, I realised that I didn't put the brace on it. And you wouldn't think it'd really make that much difference, but how we go there? It moves a lot. You can't really see it because the camera's moving. It does move quite a bit. There should be a brace from there down to that hole. So I'll go and dig one up and put him on. Uh, hasn't been a lot done on this old girl this week, but we've got a little bit done. Uh, but I did, however, pick up the chassis and an engine for that big girl. So uh, let's go and have a look at that. That's, um, that's actually a pretty good cab, that all the guards and front end and everything are inside it. I've got um, 318, five speed box, um, radiator, seat, pretty much a complete truck. Pretty much a complete truck. I picked up the chassis the other day and another 318. So I've actually got two truck 318s and the five speed box and all the gear. So let's go and have a look at picking that up. That easy when you got the right gear. Hey, we've got the 400 chassis and engine at home. Sweet as it hasn't even fallen off. Jazzy home, awesome. Thanks to Rick and R and R towing, done a great job. Need anything done local around Canberra? Give him a call. Once again, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, share it around, and um, have a good one. Cheers. I say, <laughs> dogs everywhere.